Thomas DeLauer made a video about how you can target fat loss for your love handles. A lot of times we hear that you cannot lose body fat in one specific area. Like they don't, people will tell you it's impossible. You can't sight reduce or spot reduce. Okay, I call nonsense on that. I'm about to rip the man a new love handle. Let's just say the man has officially spot reduced my brain. I am triggered. Okay, the reality is there are studies that prove otherwise. Okay, there's a study that was published in the American Journal of Physiology that found when subjects were in a fasted state and then worked out, they had full body lipolysis, which means that they were burning fat throughout their whole body. No, it does not. Lipolysis means the breaking down of fat the breaking down of triacylglycerides into a glycerol backbone and fatty acids. Essentially, lipolysis is the breaking down of stored fat into fatty acids. That is just one part of the fat burning process. And this is a massive problem in what he's communicating. And this is the point which forms the base of his spot fat reduction video. And in his own words, this is the most important point in his video. This first one is actually the most important. Okay, now, a lot of times we hear that you cannot lose body fat in one specific area. Like, they don't, people will tell you it's impossible. You can't sight reduce or spot reduce. Okay, I call nonsense on that. Denied. And so very importantly, if you wanna take away one line from this video, breaking down fat does not mean the burning of body fat. Broken down fatty acids can be returned to your body and stored again as triacylglyceride. And so this is the massive problem. Lipolysis breakdown does not necessarily equate to oxidation, fat burning. As noted, the fatty acids mobilized from adipocytes adjacent to working muscles aren't just morphed into the muscle for use as fuel. They would still have to travel through the circulatory system to reach their intended destination, which may or may not occur. If not, the fatty acids would simply be repackaged into triglycerides and stored back in adipocytes. Bottom line, the study did not in any way show spot reduction. It simply showed a very slight increase in mobilization from the underlying muscle, which means next to nothing in the overall scheme of losing body fat. So essentially, even if you break down body fat, that does not mean the burning of fat. This body, these, these fatty acids that have been freed can be returned to stored body fat. And so what he's done is incorrectly defines lipolysis. He's using one piece of research with a participant size of 10 males, hashtag representative much, and communicating that to you to project the idea that spot fat reduction is possible. And it's just absolute nonsense. They just take one piece of a pie and communicate that to you as golden. When in fact, there is a larger, more complicated pie and we have to encompass all of that pie. Don't know why, why I'm using pie so much in order to give correct scientific information. In this case, fat burning is not just lipolysis, which is not what he's defined at all. It is the breaking down of fat. Full body lipolysis, which means that they were burning fat throughout their whole body. Once you break down the fat, it then has to be transported to the mitochondria, and that's where fat oxidation takes place, the burning up of fat. Now, all of these things together are the overall fat loss process. That is body fat loss. Delauer just focuses on this. Whereas people like me, when I give information, focus on the whole process to give you the correct communication. Ooh, your picture is not scientifically accurate. No sh Sherlock, it's just for visual demonstrations only so that people can instantly understand what I'm saying. And by the way, I am available for freelance graphic design work. My fee is two branch chain amino acid tablets. Am I anabolic yet? Full body lipolysis, which means that they were burning fat throughout their whole body. However, they burned more near the area that was active. And in other news, Samuel Tarly took the Iron Throne by bench pressing Jon Snow 20 times because making up stuff gets you millions of subs. And for people like Delauer who continue to do this, they need to jog on. And indeed, I recommend they go and make some BCAA gummy bears with Vincente. Mm -hmm. 
As the researchers state, based on the present results, it cannot be foreseen if specific exercises can induce spot reduction, since triacylglycerol stores could be fully replenished or even supercompensated between exercise sessions. You're moving those muscles, you're moving the rectus abdominis, you're moving the obliques you're going to burn more fat in that area and science proves it, despite what people will say. That is the researchers themselves stating that spot reduction, the burning up of fat for fuel in specific places cannot be taken from their research. All that can be taken from their research is that the breakdown of fatty acids adjacent to the working muscles is something that they show. However, why this happens is, is left to speculation. When a subject is fasted, meaning they're working out on an empty stomach, they will burn more fat around the area that is actually active. And it has to do with increases in blood flow and increase in thermogenesis, increase in actual body heat in that area. We did not measure the temperature of the adipose tissue adjacent to the contracting muscles. Increase in thermogenesis, increase in actual body heat in that area. They did not actually measure that, Thomas but you're stating it as fact. Does that fit with how Thomas DeLauer is communicating this as set in stone spot fat reduction research? They don't, people will tell you it's impossible. You can't sight reduce or spot reduce. Okay, I call nonsense on that. Just to rip him a love handle on his other side, this is what the researchers also discuss in their findings. Okay, there was a study that was published in the American Journal of Physiology that found more calories are expended during aerobic whole body exercise than by exercise with local muscle groups. And accordingly, a person seeking to lose fat must be advised to perform whole body exercise. A person seeking to lose fat must be advised to perform whole body exercise from the researchers of the study which DeLauer has projected for spot fat reduction. Okay, the reality is there are studies that prove otherwise. The nads on this guy, unbelievable. It's when I see stuff like this that I feel like perhaps maybe all of this is a simulation. And YouTube, if you ever wanna stick me into your algorithm and I ever hit a million subscribers, imagine the chaos I would cause in the simulation industry. And so did DeLauer read this study before he butchered it to one and a half million people? Serious question, genuine question. Or was it one of his staff members that gave him that his information? And was that staff member called Vince? And to the people who get so upset, when I debunk your fitness hero, rather than being emotional and angry at me, why don't you question your fitness hero? Why don't you put responsibility and accountability on the people that have millions of subscribers and who are just completely communicating research to you in a wrong manner? When a subject is fasted, meaning they're working out on an empty stomach, they will burn more fat around the area that is actually active. And it has to do with increases in blood flow an increase in thermogenesis, increase in actual body heat in that area. So the tip is to train fasted no matter what, okay? It will allow you to burn more fat. And he touches upon fasted training because the study he cites for, for targeted fat loss used fasted participants. Now I'm not gonna go into fasted training in depth in this video, I have a video on that. I want to stay on point with the spot fat reduction theme of his video. But just so you know, this is also a massive problem in these people who project fasted training as superior for, for fat loss. They're only looking at one part of the fat loss pie when they give you this research and information. And in actual fact, when we take a step back and we look at systematic review and meta-analysis, the highest form of evidence-based information we have, which is looking at multiple, multiple research studies and then giving information we can see that there is no superior fat loss benefits of fasted training. And that is the current state of evidence we have. And so fasted cardio is a matter of personal preference. I train fasted a lot due to the fact that I train in the early mornings now, but it is not superior for fat loss. If we look at the whole fat loss process, we can see that if you're burning more fat during your workouts, you may actually then burn more glucose after your workouts and vice versa. And there are several other reasons and we have meta-analysis to show you that fat loss using fasted training is not superior. I have a video on that and I'm gonna make a more updated video on that. Again, 
just to debunk some of the nonsense that people like to allow a push your way. So in terms of practical takeaway here, uh, there doesn't really seem to be any special benefit to doing cardio fasted. Um, and the extent of fat loss seems to really be mostly dependent on the extent of the imposed caloric deficit. However, although it's true that you burn more fat during a fasted cardio session, it's vital that you take into consideration the post exercise period and what happens to your body after the session. Because research has shown that although Though you may have preferentially burned more fat during the fasted cardio session, your body eventually compensates for this by burning more carbohydrates for the rest of the day. So by the end of it, you've actually burned the same amount of fat as you would have had you eaten before your cardio session. Meaning that fasting wouldn't actually provide any superior fat loss effect. And this was proven in a recent 2017 systematic review and meta-analysis on the topic, which found that performing cardio in a fasted state had no superior fat loss effect when compared to performing cardio in a fed state. But let's say you are in a situation where you do need to fast and you're not under some false belief about uh, improved fat oxidation that's going to help you lose extra body fat or uh, improve performance or, or some other thing that is not actually true. And so what it means is that for actual fat loss over time, it's the boring principles of a caloric deficit from training and nutrition consistently over time, which lead to overall fat loss. How boring is that? Hey, you're tuned into the internet's leading performance, nutrition, and fat loss channel. And I'm the world's leading branch chain amino acid expert, anabolic since 1999. And so here is a non-perfect analogy of what DeLauer is doing. Just for those of you who may find it hard to understand the sort of breakdown and, and burning up of fats, it's like someone reading half a book, not finishing the book, and then giving a review of the book to one and a half million people. To then take that and communicate it to his audience, you cannot do that, Thomas. But since DeLauer cannot correctly define lipolysis in this video, perhaps it's not a surprise that he can't communicate this information correctly to you. This isn't going to be total nonsense. It's going to be reality. Say what? But I can understand how people don't have the time to dig into the research that he links. Of course not. People are relying on the, on the person in YouTube fitness to give them the correct information based on an in-depth look into the research, not just scratching the surface, not just giving research which supports your confirmation bias, by looking analytically at the research. This is everything that's wrong with YouTube fitness. This is why I get so frustrated in these cases, because this is the butchery, not just of fitness and health, but also science and research and communication. So to be very clear, this study would have had to have measured breakdown of fat lipolysis, mobilization and the oxidation of fatty acids for energy, the whole fat loss process, for us to even consider projecting that to an audience in a, in a set in stone manner to support targeted fat loss. But in addition, it's only just one piece of research. Using integrity, we would have to communicate meta-analysis to you, systematic review. We'd have to take a piece of research which measured all of those factors and compare it with other pieces of research using very in-depth and very strict filtering tools. But he gives this information so confidently that of course I can understand why people may be impressionable to it. And that's why I'm here. If you haven't seen me before, I'm the guy from Despicable Me. And so it could be in a future where we have flying cars and fitness YouTubers who can correctly read and communicate academic information to you that we find out that spot fat reduction is real in the future. That may happen. Of course, you have to be open to these ideas. But in the current state of evidence we have, it simply is not. And so the people telling you this now are simply wrong. And I did not lose my hair due to genetics. I lost it due to people like DeLauer miscommunicating at academic research without expressing key variables and limitations within research. And whenever I make a video about someone like Thomas DeLauer, what I need to say to you is, if you are a ketogenic dieter, relax. This is not about your keto diet. These people who choose to represent a certain eating protocol, when in fact they are not the experts in your eating protocol. In the case of keto, someone like Dr. Dom D'Agostino, he is the leading, he is an expert and leading researcher in the keto diet. Thomas DeLauer is not. And so don't get emotional about the guy just because he promotes himself as the expert to represent your specific eating protocol. How you eat is completely personal to you. I'm not bashing on that at all. However, when he absolutely massacres key fitness concepts such as spot fat reduction, it's more painful for me than watching Home Alone 3. No Colkin, 
no movie. And so research is a contribution to a knowledge base which must be read with a critical eye. We should not just take generic findings, misrepresent data, misrepresent what the researchers are actually measuring, misdefine the key concepts and push that to a large audience. We have to be more analytical. Just because a piece of research is published does not make it fact. In this case, Delauer completely miscommunicates it anyway. But I'm just saying if something is published, it is not fact. It is a contribution to a knowledge base which should be critiqued. So I'm James Linker. This is the Shredded Sports Science. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon.